Brokespeace has been around since was it, 1779. I've been brewing it personally for, for over 20 years. And the recipe has not changed. We still use traditional English malts, pale malt, chocolate malt and crystal malt. And the hops are archetypal English hops, Goldings and Fuggles. We use lots of them um, to get that really rich bitterness flavour, but that's part of what makes Brixbeers what it is. The bumblebee that sits very clearly um, on the Breakspear logo and on the pump clip that you see in pubs was uh, the papal symbol of Pope Adrian IV. Um, pope Adrian IV was the only ever English Pope. So it's a unique, uh, a one-off. Um, and his papal symbol was a bumblebee. And the Breakspear family believe that they're, they're direct descendants of um, Nicholas Breakspear, uh, Pope Adrian IV. We We love showing other brewers around. We have brewery tours that come in here, and people like talking about products. Bergspies has been around since it was formed in 1779, and it actually started brewing in Whitney, believe it or not, before it moved to Henley. It was in Henley for over 200 years as a, as a business. Um, Breakspear's got out of the, the brewing side and they've set up their own beer company but then it was bought by um, a chap and brought it back to Whitney and it's been brewed in, in Whitney um, ever since. The great thing about it, it's, it's a session beer so the alcohol doesn't make you fall over for want of a better word but you've just got this lovely flavour and bitterness and character to the beer. You think, yeah, I can drink a pint of that and, and enjoy it but it's such a lovely flavour and it won't affect you too much. We had uh, a journalist by the name of Andrew Jefford who, having tasted Breakspear Bitter, said perhaps the greatest beer in the world at 3.4%. Whenever you see um, Morse and he's in a pub with Lewis, they're sitting there enjoying their pint and that is, we believe, a pint of Breakspear. Breakspear is synonymous with Oxfordshire. And the best thing of all is when you go into a pub that people don't know you and you stand next to somebody and they order a pint of your beer, whether it be Briggs beers or whatever beer it may be, and they go, oh, that's good. It still sends the tingles up the back of my neck to say, yes, I made that. <laughs>